estimation. It's the art of trying to decide how much something is when you don't know for sure. In this particular case, this is showing a model of the solar system. And this is an estimation of sorts, since it doesn't actually show the distances between planets. But in measuring the distance between planets, one of the things they do is take the distance between Earth and the Sun and call it an astronomical unit. Then they use that as a measure of other things. We can use this same thought when we're measuring and estimating things in our lives. If we know how long certain things are, like our fingers, or the spread of our hands, or the distance of our knuckles, or how wide our palms are, we can estimate how big things are just by knowing how big they appear in our hands. Take this paintbrush. From our previous measurements, we know that our fingers are about three inches long, and this paintbrush looks to be about two lengths of our fingers. So if we put it on the ruler, we'll see that it is just about a little more than six inches long. So we were able to guess from comparing it to our fingers how big it might be. Here's another small object, and it's even smaller than the distance from at one knuckle on our hands. And if we measure it on a ruler, we can see it's less than an inch. So by understanding how big the distance is between our knuckles, we can guess that something is. The same for this laser pointer. If we want to know how big it is, so it'll fit in our pocket or whatever, we can guess based on how it fits in our hands, how big it actually is. And again, it's going to measure to be just about six inches. We can use the same principle to do metric conversions. If we know, for example, that there's 12 inches in a foot and also about 30 centimeters, we can figure out how much, how many centimeters or inches are in other things. 